What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I've got a great little cross ice flow drill. And I know that might sound counterintuitive, like how do you get a lot of flow with a cross ice drill? Believe it or not, it can be done and I came up with this drill because I'm actually in a bit of a unique situation with uh, the program I'm in this year. We have grown immensely and uh, as you guys know, I've got, I've got four boys, three of them are already playing. I've got a U8, a U10, and a U12 and then my, my little guy is still up and coming, not, not quite playing yet. But at the U10 and U12 levels, we're actually splitting the ice. We've got three teams on the ice at the same time. So you know how people are always complaining about their cross ice or their half ice practices, right? Sharing the ice with two teams. We're sharing it with three teams this year. It's a little bit crazy, but we're making the most of it. And um, came up with this drill a couple, uh, probably a couple weeks ago and loved it. So uh, we tested it out. It worked really well. I did it actually with the U12s. The U12s picked it up really quick. The U10s did pretty well with it. It took them a little bit longer to get it, but let's go ahead and pull it up. So we've got the rink pulled up here. And uh, as you can see, so I'm just gonna demonstrate, you can do it in any zone, but um, in this one, I'm just gonna show you in the in the middle cross ice section, just because we've got the circle there. It kind of helps us with our, uh, you know, with our placements and things like that. What we've got those four lines, we've got a line in each corner with pucks, two nets cross ice from each other. If you've got two goalies, use them both. If not, put some targets in one of the nets or however you wanna do this, but use two nets. And here's what the drill looks like. So um, first player from each line will step out and skate straight towards the opposite line, okay? Um, same thing is happening on the other side here, but I'm not gonna draw out the whole thing because I don't wanna have too many uh, overlapping lines. It gets a little bit complex. This drill is much easier to do in real life than it looks on the diagram. So don't let it stress you out once you see all the lines and everything going. Um, as this player is coming out, the first player in the opposite line straight across is gonna send out a pass, okay? Now depending on what type of passing you're working on, you might say, you know, hey, we want these cushion and sweep soft hands passes, or we want this to be a touch pass, or you may even throw in something a little bit more creative, like a saucer pass or something. So designate what type of pass you wanna see, but that player is gonna throw out the pass, this player is gonna receive it and quickly send it back, okay? So this is where we start getting some overlapping lines. No problem, we're not gonna let it stress us out though. Then after this player, there's two versions of this, I'm gonna show you both versions. After this player gives that pass back, remember he or she is in motion, um, they're gonna loop up and around the circle like this and facing the other line. As they're turning that corner, they're gonna receive a pass from this line, okay? So pass comes out. Oh, I gave it the wrong, uh, wrong arrow type. Hang on one second, or wrong line type. I wanted that to be a straight line. Okay, so pass comes out, and then at this point, they're gonna walk in with the puck and take a shot on net. Now, again, you can designate what you wanna see here. You might say, you know, we want snapshots, we want backhands, whatever you wanna do, uh, but you can designate that. So uh, as this is happening, same thing's going on on the other side, right? So this player comes out, uh, receives a pass from this line, so it's pass out, receive it back, and then this first player right here is getting ready to pop it right back to the, the first player of the other line, okay? So same thing's happening over here. So let me, in fact, let me just draw it. I think we can handle this, okay? So um, let me get back to that pass. So the, the first pass comes out, this player corrals it, gives it back, right? And then loops around that circle. So loop around the circle. If you're doing it in one of the end zones and you don't have the circle, just throw a couple cones down. You know, you can do the same idea with like four cones. Um, loop around the circle, receive that final return pass. So this is kind of like the three pass and shot drill, but it's a cross ice version of it. And it works really, really nicely. Uh, and then pick it up, drive in, and take that shot, okay? So that's what that looks like. Now, that's, the, that's kind of the simplified version of it. That's the easy version of it. Now there is another way of doing this that actually incorporates a, a more like mimicking a stretch pass. So you can kind of start working on those stretch pass type deals. Um, and it'll look like this. I'm gonna get rid of some of these arrows here. The drill starts out the same, but I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm gonna leave these here just, cause, just in case we wanna you know fill that in afterwards. So after that first pass, so pass comes out, quick pass it back, you know whether that's a touch pass or whatever. Quick touch pass back, and now this player is gonna loop up around like this. Same thing, but now they're gonna loop up and receive it. You wanna designate like a passing receiving zone almost right at the red line there. We wanna receive it just on the other side of the red line so that these players have a chance because the other guy's going to the other side. If you if this guy tries to pass too early, then the, the two sides get in each other's way. So we wanna receive it just past the red line. 
So that's what we're looking to do. And then uh, the same player who they did the give and receive with here is gonna find is gonna fire out a stretch pass here. And then of course this player picks it up and steps in and then uh, makes the attack the attack on net. Again, whether you want to designate a backhand or a, you know cer certain type of shot, whatever you can do whatever you want there. But um, it's it's kind of a quick, you know, it's a flowy drill, but it's in a, a confined space. So it makes the players really have to be pay attention and be accurate on their passes. But at the same time, you're still working on you know some of these skating elements, some of these flow elements and timing elements. Uh, we've got some receiving zone opportunities there. It's a really nice little drill in a compact space that really, you know, it, it gets the players moving. There's not a lot of line time. So even, you know, we've got, actually got fairly, like I said, we've got an influx of players. We've got a fairly big roster this year. Um, even with a sizable roster, we've had really good success with this drill and doing it in practices. So uh, let me just finish up. We'll do the same thing coming from the other side here just so we can kind of put that finality in it. Um, so player comes out, just a quick review. Player comes out, receives a pass from that line straight across, gives it right back, and then he or she is going to loop like this. And we want to receive that final pass just on the other side of the red line there, right? So same thing that we just drew out on the other side. And then that player's gonna pick it up and drive straight in. Now, if you run into an issue where like the timing is off, um, then what I like to see in this case is for instead of this player to just kind of drift or drift up ice or drift off to the side, turn the corner and come back towards that player that's, you know, let's say that the, the pass comes back and it's bobbled or whatever, this is a timing element now, right? So instead of just kind of drifting off and, and letting the drill kind of die, um, take a different route. So turn back in like this. Oh, I've got, got the wrong arrow type again or wrong line type again. But uh, you know, you would, you would want to think about turning back in towards the passer. And then once that passes on its way, receive it, turn back up ice with the puck and, and drive in and shoot. Right? So that's kind of what we're looking at. Let me, uh, again, let me clear off some of this, uh, some of this garbage here. But uh, in a nutshell, that's what we're looking at with this drill. It's a fantastic little drill, really nice drill. I've been using it. And uh, you know, if you find yourself in a situation where you've got like station type practices or you're sharing the ice three ways or something like that, where you still wanna get a little bit of that you know, passing and timing elements in your practice, but you don't have a full ice to do it, this is a great way of incorporating some of that stuff. So use this. Um, hopefully it goes well for you. And um, if you're having success with it, let us know. I love hearing feedback on this stuff. And uh, have a great one. And we'll be back again soon with some more drills.